We begin tonight in the Nimo and in the club. Rapper T Pain had the crowd feeling good last night. The first all ages show to be staged at the Vancouver Island Conference Center, and by all accounts, it was a big success. The conference center opened its doors in June 2008, and at times over the years has struggled to stay busy, using city taxpayer money to subsidize operations. But as ABC reporter Steve Coulterman shows us now, T Pain was a test to see if concerts and conferences can go hand in hand. Like we always do it. More than 850 people of all ages put their hands up high for rapper T-Pain. The Vancouver Island Conference Centre has hosted many events since it opened three years ago, but this is the first concert. T-Pain was a test, a trial run, to see if the Conference Centre could sell itself as a concert venue. It was highly successful. You always learn from these things in terms of do's and don'ts, and in this case, we, uh, we ran with this almost flawless. The concert was promoted by the Queen's Hotel in downtown Nanaimo. You know, we had a choice between the Port Theatre or the Conference Centre, but it was all seating at the Port Theatre, and this was a dance party, and all the kids wanted to be dancing, they wanted to be right up at the stage, and the room, the size, the venue, the sound, and the people there, it, it was the perfect venue, couldn't have asked for anything better. In our venue, because it is one level, it allows people to express themselves in terms of uh, dancing and all those kinds of things, uh, so I think that it offers an alternate option for for, uh, promoters for this region. T Payne's fans were a trouble free crowd. The conference center says there was no damage during the event, and the RCMP have no problems to report. Concerts may be a ticket to more revenue, but conferences are still the facility's main focus. The conference center is built for conference delegates. We are very aggressive with that particular market. That market runs a window between uh, February to June and September through November. So there are other dates of available to uh, promote alternate events and this is this is one of them. This morning all traces of T Pain and his fans are gone. The conference center is now a work zone preparing to host its next event. But that doesn't mean the disco ball is going in the trash. More concerts and dance parties could be in the center's future. If it fits in within our conference uh, scheduling it's it's a perfect opportunity. It showcases the region as well. That's music to the ears of concert fans. And our Steve Quilderman joins us now live in our Mid-Island Bureau with more on the story. Steve, uh, with, with one concert, with some tea pain, with no pain uh, <laughs> for the center, uh, what's next? Are there going to be more? Hudson, T Pain was the start of something new at the Conference Center. Xavier Rudd will be performing in May, with details for two other concerts being announced in the weeks to come. The Conference Center says as they move forward with more concerts on the schedule, they'll be looking to attract some high end entertainers. All right, good to see there was no trouble, too. That was no, lots yeah. of fun and lots of security, and that was one of the good things. All right, Steve Coulterman, thank you. Thank you.